What is up guys, Fahir here from AwesomeTudes.com and what I realized is that I did not talk that much about particles so that we can know what are we doing actually with these particles, what is here stars particles, so what should we do, what is duration, what is looping, what is emission, shape, so on and so forth. Before we go into that, I am quickly gonna go here and if you are interested into 3D game development, you wanna become a 3D game developer, you wanna apply for 3D game development jobs or jobs in the game industry, you should definitely take this course as it is the most comprehensive course on the internet for learning how to code and create games and you risk absolutely nothing. It's, or you have, a 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't like it, just refund and I still love you. I don't care. Just come and see it. It's for your own benefit. Anyways, moving forward with these particles. So in order to create particles, I know we imported these as a package because I'm too tired to create all of this from scratch. But in order to create particles, you just right click and then go into the particle system or click on it and voila, here they are. These are the particles. So here they are, they emit whatever you tell them to emit, you can even apply materials on them and they will emit those materials. Let me just see if the stars particle, yeah, it has these materials, or this material, so particles additive, shader, and it has this material, if I click on select, it has this star 2, and you can change it and it will emit whatever you tell it to emit. Now, you can play with these settings here, so for example, you can set the duration, that means how long will these particles last, as you can see, notice where they are going, if I set the duration to lower number, they will start to die, well, early in their stage. Also, for looping, for start lifetime, start speed, you can decrease these to see what is going on. You see, I have decreased the start speed and notice how slowly the particles are now going up. Start size, this is also something that you can play with, as you can see, so on and so forth. Into the emission, well, rate over time, how many of these do you want to emit over time, their shape and what not. So instead of me going through all of this and explaining what every single thing here is, what all of these options represent and what effect will they have on the particles, you can simply go on Google and simply type Unity Particle System and go here, the Particle System Tutorial. It is very well done, I mean it is from Unity, but hey. So it is here, unity3d.com slash learn slash tutorials slash topics slash graphics slash particle systems. And this is the tutorial, it lasts for about an hour and 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, if you're interested to learn the particle system in more depth, my guy, I think is the guy's name and he will show you everything starting from every single point. So starting from here, so what is duration, what is looping, what is pre-warm, what is start delay, what is everything that you see here, then he will go into emission and shape and velocity over time and limit velocity over lifetime. All of these options, he will cover them and he will tell you what each of these are doing. After that, it's all up to your imagination how you're gonna well, use these particle systems to create specific things. So for example, if you take the stars particle that I have here, you can simply take a look at the options here. So simply take a look at the options and then you will see what all of these particles well, or how they are created. So what is edited here, which options, what is checked, what is not checked, which of these materials are applied to the particle or well, particle system that is, so on and so forth. Now, I am sorry that we did not code again in this video, but these are all things that you need to know if you want to be a game developer because you will use all of these things. In the previous video, I talked about lightning. Nobody talks about lightning in whole YouTube. And not to mention that they don't show you with a practical example. So you need to know these things. And also regarding particles, you need to know how to use them. You need to know how to position them. You need to know how to put them in your scene. You need to know how to create specific effects. As I said, since there is already a tutorial 
lasting hour and 15 minutes. I'm not gonna create one telling you the same things that he is telling you. So you can simply take a look at all of the options you have available, what they do. Usually you will not need all of these options. You can see for our stars particle, we only used, well, of course, this first initial right here, these options. And then we have emission, shape, and we have color over lifetime, rotation over lifetime, and we have the render. And that is that. We don't use, well, pretty much most of these options, but hey, it is good to know. Maybe you can get, or maybe you're creative and you will, well, put something to use. And then you can simply take a look at the stars particle. You can take a look at the other videos I've created, such as those for the cat jumper, jumpy cat. You can take a look at the particles over there and simply recreate them using these particles right here. And this was it for this video, guys. Hopefully, starting from the next video, we will start to code so that you don't go all commando on me and start shooting me and killing me and whatnot. But until then, fire here from awesometoots.com if you want to download the complete project, all of these assets, which, by the way, are commercial free. You can use them for whatever you want to use them. Link is in the description below. Click on it, go over there on my website, put your email, and then you will be ready to download all of those assets. And also, when you are on my email list, you will get highest course discounts. That was that for this video, guys. See you in the next one.